what's up everybody so in today's video we are gonna learn how to make a scroll indicator progress bar in react so this is what it's gonna look like right here I have this black bar right underneath my nav bar and as I scroll down it'll show me how much progress that I've made in the web page and as I keep going all the way to the very bottom it completes so without further ado let's get into it all right so the first thing you're gonna want to do is if you don't have a react app made just go ahead and make one start it up and i'm going to start off with making the actual bar first so what i'm going to do is create a div tag and give it a class name of progress main wrapper and i'll do a another div with a class name equal to progress main style and I'll save that now I'm going to import dot slash scroll indicator dot CSS and at the same time I'm also going to make that file so scroll indicator dot CSS and let me minimize this terminal I don't need that anymore so I'm going to target the progress main wrapper first so i'll do progress I'll just copy that progress main wrapper and i'm going to give it a background color of black a height let's do 15 pixels position um so if you, you can either do sticky or um fixed but i'm going to go with sticky and top set it as zero left I will do zero Z index at one and we'll set the width to be 100% let's see what it looks like cool so let's put this above our actual title so let's take all of this bad boy and put it right above there and save that now it should be better there we go now let's also make our um, our progress so a little green indicator so what i'll do for that is progress main style give it a height oops a height of 15 pixels background color um, let's go with green actually no that's not good uh, let's go with hashtag 00cc83 that's a better color and let's do width at 15% just to see how it looks cool so that looks pretty good now let's go ahead and make our functionality all right so for the functionality the first thing that we're going to do is create a use state variable that is going to be responsible for setting our percentage of how much a user has scrolled on the web page so for that I'll do const scroll top and set scroll top equal to use state at zero so it'll be zero percent initially because they will start off at the very top of the page all right so now let's create a function that will be responsible for our math and setting our scroll top to the proper number of how far a user scrolls on the web page so right underneath our use state variable i will do a const on scroll and using ES6 syntax, I will do let's do const win scroll is equal to document dot document element dot scroll top, and I'll do a const. Actually, let's do a let. Well, we're not changing. Let's just do a const and see what happens. So const height is equal to document dot document element dot scroll height minus document dot document element dot client height and now what we have to do is const scrolled is equal to win window scroll basically over height multiplied by a hundred and right underneath that I will just do set scroll top to be scrolled there we go so you might be wondering what scroll top scroll height and client height are 
Well, according to the Mozilla documentation, uh, scroll top gets or sets the pixels that an element's content is scrolled vertically by, and scroll height is a measurement of the height of an element's content, and client height returns the inner height of an element's in pixels, including padding, but not the horizontal scroll bar height, um, border, or margin. All right, so now let's create a use effect that will add an event listener and remove an event listener. So right underneath our on scroll function, I will do use effect. And inside of here, we'll do window dot add event listener, scroll on scroll. And this is a cool part. This actually learned this while I was making this project. You can create a component will unmount inside of the use effect just by using a return brackets arrow function and right here window dot remove event listener scroll on scroll so basically everything after this arrow function is component will unmount and so right underneath this I'm going to add empty array brackets and we also need to import use state forgot to do that earlier now let's make sure that everything is still working. Cool. All right, so now that we made our functionality in our CSS for our scroll indicator, now let's apply our scroll number, our uh, our use state number right here, the zero, to our progress main style uh, right here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it was right here. And so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to do a style tag, and I'm going to do a width and using backticks, I'm going to do scroll top percent, and I'm going to save that. And I'm going to go into my CSS and get rid of this width. We no longer need that there. So now we are applying our width dynamically as you scroll up and down for our progress bar. So now you can see that there's no more 15%. So let's put in some lorem ipsum and actually scroll up and down and see if it works. All right, so I found this really cool lorem ipsum. It's called the uh, Kyrie ipsum. It's basically Kyrie's wokeness levels, and uh, it's made by this dude right here, uh, AJ, I I I I I, and uh, give him some love. The link to this is in the description below, and uh, so I'm just gonna copy all of this. I've got all ten paragraphs, and it's beautiful. I read all of it. I, I shed so many tears. It's so beautiful. All right, anyway, so I'm gonna make a p tag and paste it inside of here oh god there was so many spaces okay there we go so Kyrie, he made the decision as a man and as a man over there max kellerman speaking volumes here all right so let's go back into our app and see oh, that's really not enough okay we need we need more we need more um let's uh let's go back to Kyrie ipsum Let's grab nine paragraphs and now let's go back to ten. Come on. Oh well, I just noticed that's an Illuminati sign. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so now let's paste it to the very bottom a couple times. Okay. Now it should be enough. There we go. So now if I scroll oh, yay, there we go. Now we have a scroll that's indicating how far we made progress in the web page. And I, until I get to the very bottom, it completes cool so i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new i definitely learned something new i just learned that there's a Kyrie ipsum that i didn't even know existed so i'm gonna be using the crap out of that anyways if you did enjoy be sure to smash the like button comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one I